And I hope that you have enjoyed it as much as I have in helping to put the exhibit together. So without further ado, he can tell you way more about what he does than I can. The man of the hour, David Brodsky. Hello, and thank you very much for coming. I honor to see so many fans of the art and particularly photography. And just a few words about myself. Um, by education, I'm a graphic designer. I was doing this for practically all my life, more than 40 years. In the younger years, I was painting a lot, and I thought this was going to be my future as a great painter. Um, for some reason, it didn't go that way, but it still kind of like stuck in my head. And every time I was traveling, I was taking photographs. It was mostly for my future paintings. It's kind of like a visual notebook. And all of a sudden, I realized that the photography itself became for me uh, my uh, kind of like my media. And I started to do this more and more, I enjoyed it very much. I was kind of close to photography all my professional life, working as a graphic designer, of course, but never in this particular uh, way like I, I do now. My uh, main subject is everything which related to humanity. Uh, even if I don't have uh, people in my photography, it's still you can feel the presence of the humans there. Not because it's just architecture, it's probably more our mood, our thoughts. I never was kind of like interested to do the documentary photography, which I respect a lot. It's not uh, what I uh, try to do because uh, to me uh, it's more about the uh, moment, about the story, about the feelings and uh, I kind of like infuse my own feelings in what I see. But people ask me about the black and white photography versus color. Um, Probably 85% of what I've done so far is mostly black and white photography because, like I said before, my goal is the emotions. And if color uh, doesn't bring anything to the uh, volume of the emotions I'm trying to uh, uh, show, it's extra. So I am just do black and white. Uh, the color sometimes works Gratefully to the goal I'm trying to achieve, this is the moments when I do use a color. So uh, I don't have any kind of like particular theory about color versus black and white, which is whatever requires the, the result I'm trying to achieve. I would love uh, if you guys would ask me any questions and would. Yes, I'm still learn, I'm going to learn for the rest of my life everything and to me it's very important how people see my photography and my art and even if it's something negative please tell me, it's uh, much better if people just don't tell you anything, <laughs> it's just ignore it. So I'm taking compliments with pleasure and the critical stuff with interest. But I have my first uh, book. I published for sale. It's a very small edition, that's why the price is a little steep. I apologize, it's not my fault. <laughs> uh, but if you're interested to book the book, uh, buy it, I will be appreciated. I forgot to mention my graphic design uh, era. I designed twice the logos for the Decatur celebration. So I had to say for me. It's a 1998 and 2000, and the first one won a, a national uh, award in the graphic design competition. So, kind of have to brag about it. <laughs> <laughs>